child. If I was Nikki Natural, I would not bring my ass out the house. I'd move the hell on up out Miami, try to get you a deal over there at Hollywood or ATL shot it, cause she read your ass for filth. <laughs> Your favorite favorite on Timo and we are here for the love and hip-hop Miami reunion y'all this is part one of season three um before we get into everything y'all already know church announcements go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you ain't already let me know you stop by give me a thumbs up and then make sure the notifications is turned on who somebody still quarantined right now over there at the, at the YT and uh they ain't been turning on people's notifications and letting niggas know like hey I, I'm, I'm in this bitch, so y'all make sure you know if case turned on, check with me now. Um, there was not a whole lot that went on on this first review. Um, I'm tired, so um, this review is not going to be long at all. I promise you it ain't going to be long at all. I got my unicorn juice. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. So, look here. I'm going to go ahead and get to this review, y'all, because I'm tired. I'm ready to put my goddamn bonnet on, take this bra off, and get my ass back in the bed. So, hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go and get right on up into it. First of all, y'all, let's get into the best dress. Best dress of all goes to Trina and Miami Tip. Baby, Trina's Versace pantsuit. Bitch, that was beautiful. Hair was laid nice and all of that. Miami Tip had the best hair on the dog on panel out of everybody. Miami, I don't know what Miami Tip did. I don't, I, I don't know if the fall done changed or what. But she don't, the Miami Tip now don't look nothing like the Miami Tip did. Bitch body was banging. Hair, the line, baby, the, the lace was just melted into the bitch soul. It, it looked like it was growing up out her head. Makeup was just bomb. I mean, she looked good. Now, oh, worst dress of what? Amada, Amada, what were you thinking when you put that dress on? You look like the rapper from the Juicy Fruit or maybe the Double Mint or something, but it didn't look right, and I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, I do this meal. Que pasa with this whole caca situation? I didn't know what was going on. And then the ponytail looked like you just got up and you shaked it. And you was like, Adalorale. okay, I'm ready to go right now. I wasn't feeling none of that, Amara. No, 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 no. She looked crazy. She looked, she looked like Senorita, the, the Bueno Witch. I mean, she she looked really, no, I, I, I did not like that. Now, Bobby Lights. Bitch, Bobby Lights look like he done went straight up in Lady May Greenfield closet and pulled out his Sunday's best. <laughs> pulled out brunch, brown girl brunch with the girls outfit with these gloves to match. I said, Bobby, if you don't go get your grandmama back her women's conference suit, boy, go know she need that shit for when she step back in the church house so she can gag all these hoes. And here you go. With boy, bye. Um, of course, Kendall was backstage. I love me some Kendall. I know some people say be annoyed with Kendall. I, I love me some damn Kendall. That motherfucker funny to me. So, y'all, this started off with the whole Amada MJ Annie situation, right? Now, Amada says that they are not together, but they still living in the house right now, right? Now, of course. He's, um, um, what's, oh, the host was Claudia Jordan. Y'all, every time I see Claudia Jordan, all I see is her fucked up feet. Y'all, she, she didn't want to put her feet out there. That girl got some bad feet to see us. Y'all go searching Claudia Jordan toes. They gonna be like this. <laughs> Motherfucking toe like this, nigga, what? She got some fucked up toes. Anyways, um. She said, Amada said that her and MJ ain't together, but he's still living in the house, right? And so, Claudia asked him, like, well, what's the situation? Like, you know, what's going on? You hear Bucky, here she come up out the side. Mm -hmm. He needs to man up. I tell him he needs to go and get out the house. He living in there. You, you living in there for somebody don't want you. They don't know your worth and you don't need to be with him. Now, look here, Bucky. I'm going to need you 
to go get you a man, man. You stay up in other folk business. Yes, I get this, that you want to be there to help your brother because he come whining and crying the blues to you. But don't try to flip and throw that back out there like, look, this is what he doing. That. And he come to me. Look here. He come to you so you can be a listening ear. So you can be his sister. Not so you can go and fight whatever battles he got going on. You ain't digging that the girl down. He is. So stay the hell on up out of it. It was getting on my damn nerves. Did y'all see the look of pure delight and joy on Julian's face as everybody was going off? Or basically how Amada was going off saying he ain't got this, he ain't got that, blah, blah, blah. Julian sent back like, mm-hmm. Yo, bitch, you, I tried to tell you something, but she wanted to come in here trying to be funny and all of that, so. <laughs> you kicked the fuck out too, nigga. <laughs> I will say this though, Julian did clear up the whole, when Prima Donna tried to throw out there that Amada slept with Julian, Julian was like, no, me and her ain't never did nothing together, and I'm glad he cleared that up, because uh, I was going to say, Amada, you want some scandalous ass shit, I'm just saying, but y'all look here, um, Prima Donna, I don't know, I already said it, I'm going to say it again, Prima Donna is messy and miserable. I don't give a damn. You can sit here and brag about all the things that you have, all the things that you've accomplished, this, that, and the other. But if you use a percentage of your energy to go into doing petty shit to fuck up other people's shit, bitch, you miserable. Happy hoes ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. I'm just saying. Next up was the prima donna uh, Jocelyn ho. Loving gossip, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> Something just came across my screen. Look here. Nah, I ain't even said. But when I get off of here, I gotta go catch my girl live real quick. I'm just saying. Shout out to my homegirl from Texas. Love guys. Anyways, um, they started talking to Prima Donna and this whole Jocelyn thing. They, uh, I really don't care because I really don't care about what's going on with them in that whole situation. I see it like this. Jocelyn wasn't there, so I don't give a damn. Moving on from there. Now, we get up into this whole situation with Trina, Julian, like the whole Amada, the record deal, how all of that shit went down, right? Now, Trina still fired up over the shit. She said just recently she was starting to get emails saying that she owes Amada money because Amada is signed to Rockstar Music Label. Trina didn't know nothing about this girl being signed to her goddamn label. Trina said this nigga Julian was going and making deals behind her back on different shit, and she didn't know nothing about it. Now, look here. This motherfucker Julian is sneaky as hell. If you get any other clients to work with you, are you repping anybody else after this? Them niggas obviously don't watch goddamn Love and Hip Hop because they exposing your ass for the sneaky ass damn nigga that you are. Now look here. I will say this though. He apologized to Trina for not being there and reaching out to her after her mom passed away or whatever, right? They asked Amada, how do you feel about the whole situation? I'm just like, hey. Don't put me in there. This has nothing to do with me. I'm over here. I'm doing my own thing. No way. I have nothing to do with that. Nope. Now, Trick is backstage. He's listening to everything as it's going down, right? He hear Julian out there talking. He said, this nigga out there lying, man. I'm sick of this shit. This goddamn fool, uh, Trick Daddy come from backstage. Like, he finna run up on goddamn Julian. He like, nigga, don't act like you don't know what the hell going on, nigga. Then you sell some of my goddamn mixtapes overseas, nigga. I ain't get all my motherfucking money, nigga. nigga. I'm gonna break your goddamn jaw, nigga. I said, oh, this nigga came with an old school goatee, black, shiny ass nigga threat. Then I'm gonna break your motherfucking jaw, nigga. I believe he'll do that, too. He will. Woo, girl, we get into the whole Sukiana, Miami tip, and Saucy Santana fiasco. Let me just say this. Saucy's lashes was cute. They was a lot. There was a little snuffleupagus like this. They was cute, though. I would just need him just trim them holes down. Just trim them holes down just a little bit. Now, child... They're going back and forth over the whole situation. Now, Miami Tip and Saucy Santana going back and forth over the whole situation when this nigga got shot. Y'all remember he was at G5 in Miami. He was bending over, showing his ass in a male, in a gentleman's club. And he ended up getting kicked out the club afterwards. He got shot in the arm or grazed by a bullet, this, that, and the other. And y'all know Miami Tip went on her YouTube platform saying that the nigga, he lied. This is what happened, blah, blah, blah. Anyways... He's still pissed off about that. They going back and forth, back and forth, just go, talking over each other. It was just getting on my nerves. Um, so, see, just so that you know, I don't know if anybody told you, but when you on camera, you ain't be chewing gum like this. 
That look horrible. It look real horrible. Because then when you try to talk, he got all this going on. I was like, this nigga, what the fuck is your media training, nigga? Are you supposed to have a gun like that? I was like, this nigga's chewing the shit out that gun too. Chewing like bitch, huh? Period, poo. Material raw, period, poo. Another thing. This goddamn Bobby Lights was getting on my damn nerves. This nigga was hopping in everybody's little piece of segment they had with his little two cents from, from the first wives couch, first ladies couch over here in Lady May fashion that he got going on. Everybody's segment that was on that, he had something to say. I was just like, Bobby, shut up. Girl, if you don't go get them tea cakes out the oven before they burn and sit your ass down somewhere in the bar. I do like how... Tip did apologize for hurting Santana's feelings. She said, if I hurt your feelings in any kind of way, I do apologize for that. And that was very big of her because she didn't have to apologize for hurting the nigga's feelings. She didn't say I apologize for saying what I said because I said what I said. But I do apologize for hurting your feelings. I feel it though. Shout out to you, Miami Tip. With that lace just melting into your soul. That goddamn her was pretty, bitch. So we get into the whole girls tour that Trina was supposed to be putting on with um Hood, Brad, Suki, and Chameleon, right? And of course, Nikki Natural as well. Now, Trina is still pissed off over this whole situation with this bitch Nikki running her goddamn mouth where she did, and she acted up and she got her goddamn wig and everything on her snatched up. Trina's still goddamn mad. She talking shit. This bitch Nikki Natural talking shit from the goddamn couch. Trina Red Nikki for pure filth. Baby, when she said, I don't respect no grown ass bitch with kids and braces in her mouth, I was like, Bitch, I died. I died and I came back alive. I said, Damn. <laughs> that was a good ass goddamn read. They just going back and forth from that child. Nikki get escorted off the stage. She go on the back with Kendall. She's still talking shit. She call these niggas, they the biggest crab kings. I said, oh no, you call these niggas crabs? Nigga, oh, this fucked up. Trina and her people go to the back getting ready to try to get at the bitch. Trina's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm finna take the stars of the motherfucking show then since y'all want to let this bitch run, it, run her mouth reckless like she want to. She gathered joy. She gathered lady made lights. And they went the hell on up out of there. I said, well... I'm anxious to see what happens on the next episode of this. Y'all look here. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump. Bam.